Hello and welcome to Giddy Knits episode number 9. Um, today is Tuesday the 28th of May uh, 2017 um, and this is my knitting podcast. <laughs> um, so welcome back to anyone that's watched me before and hello to any new viewers. Um, for those of you who haven't watched before, I'm Helen um, and you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Giddy Helen. Um, and we do have a Ravelry group for the podcast as well, which is um, Giddy Knits Podcast, um, which you can find by searching in the groups tab on Ravelry, or um, I should have linked it down below if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, for those that do watch me, you'll notice that um, not only am I recording a day early, um, but I'm in a different location. <clears throat> um, I completely forgot that this week was half term. So there's no nursery, so Arthur's not at nursery um, this week. Um, so Tom has come home from work a little bit early today so that I can rep record um, this episode while um, there's still some daylight. <laughs> um, so he is looking after the boys in the lounge and giving them some tea. Um, and I am in our bedroom <laughs> um, recording the podcast. Um, so it is um, half past five in the evening, um, so we'll see how the light goes. It's also been a very grey day today, but the sun is now starting to come out, so the light might change quite a bit. So I'm sorry about that if, it, um, if you find it difficult. Um, but I'm recording. <laughs> um, okay, so now that I've got myself completely off track by going into the reasons why I'm not in the same location and why I'm recording on a different day, um, I've lost my track. Right, so, <laughs> sorry, recording on a different day has thrown me and recording at a different time of day has also thrown me. Um, let's start, I've got a few admin things to start with. Um, so, as I said, it's the 28th of May today and on the 1st of June we have got the Summer Stripe Long Cal starting. Um, so I've talked about this before in the last couple of episodes, I will just quickly run through the details one more time. Um, they can be found on um, in the chatter thread in my Ravelry group and they can also be found in the um, Stomach Stripe Along Ravelry group as well, um, in case you want to um, check them later on. Um, okay, so the um, knit along we're hosting is a, a craft along, um, is called the Summer Stripe Along. And it's a collaborative um, craft along with um, Emily of Anders Mill Knits Podcast, Amy of um, Hudson Valley Knits Podcast, and Karen of Simply Stashless. Um, and they'll all be linked down below um, if you're interested in checking out their podcasts. Um, and basically it is a stripey craft along. We are including um, knitting, crochet, weaving, spinning, sewing, um, pretty much any fibre or fabric related craft. If you're not sure whether it counts, contact us and we will let you know, but I'm pretty sure we're pretty open, so it should, it will, it, it'll count. Um, so as I said, the cowl starts on the 1st of June and it runs all through the summer until the 31st of August. Um, we're not allowing works in progress, so anything started on or after the 1st of June will count, as long as it's finished by the 31st of August. Um, we have a minimum of 50 grams um, if it's fibre related or three quarters of a yard of fabric um, if it's um, a sewing project and it just has to involve stripes. This could be um, self striping or it could be creating your own stripes. Um, it's completely up to you. If it's stripy in any way that is fine by us. Again if you're not sure whether it'll count just contact one of us and we will let you know. Um, so there is a separate Ravelry group for the cow, and that is the Summer Stripe Along um, group on Ravelry. Again, it will be linked down below, um, or you can just search for it in the groups tab in Ravelry. Um, and if you are on Instagram, then um, please feel free. Feel, uh, please feel free to share your projects. Um, we've got a couple of hashtags we're using. Um, firstly, is um, hashtag is the Summer Stripe Along 2017, and I'll put that on the screen so that you can see it. And the other one is um, S S A C A L, so Summer Stripe Along C A L for Cal. Um, so yeah, tag your projects with those. Um, it'd be great to see what anybody's up to. Um, 
so yeah, the, the, so the summer stripe along group there is a, there will be fo there will be a finished object thread. Sorry, let's see if I can make some sense. There will be a finished object thread um, in that group, um, and all your projects can go in. So if you post one one post per project um, in that. So if you knit multiple striper projects, that's fine. You can enter multiple times, but put them into a separate post for each completed project in the finished objects thread. Um, there's also a chatter thread over there. Um, and there is, um, there's a couple of threads with different bundles over there as well. Um, and there's a chatter thread in the Giddy Knits podcast group too. So come on over and chat about what you're thinking of crafting. Um, to be eligible for prizes, because there are prizes, um, and in fact the prizes that we've got so far are also in the summer in the summer stripe along group. You can see, um, you can see a list of the prizes along with some pictures and things like that. Um, so to be eligible for prizes, you need to be a member of the summer stripe along group on Ravelry. Um, we're not requiring that you have to be a member of every single podcast group because I think that's quite a lot to ask um, with four of us doing it together. Um, but if you'd like to come and be a member of the Giddy Knits podcast group, I won't say no. Um, okay, so FO thread I've talked about, chatter threads I've talked about, prizes, yep, there will be prizes. Um, there are also a couple of other new threads have opened up in the group and that is for swaps. Um, Stephanie, um, Hot Pink Socks, on Instagram, who is also um, one of our collaborators in the pro in the in the, it, she's also one of our collaborators in the craft along. Um, she doesn't have a podcast, um, but she's um, Hot Pink Socks Reviews on Instagram. If you're interested in checking out her feed, um, and she is hosting some swaps in the group. Um, so at the moment, there is a sock yarn swap open, and there is a fibre swap open. Um, so if you're interested in taking part in those, then head on, head on over to the group um, and all the details can be found in those threads. Um, I'm definitely taking part in the sock yarn swap because um, I think it sounds like a brilliant idea. Um, and Amy um, is also going to be hosting some virtual knit nights um, using Google Hangouts. Um, so uh, when she starts to organise those, then um, again, the threads will be coming up in the Summer Stripe Along group. Um, in terms of prizes from me, I've, I'm have i starting to sort out a couple of prizes. I think I've decided that I'm going to contribute a couple of bags that I've made myself. I haven't quite finished them. I ran out of time this week, um, but I can show you nearly finished. Um, so this is one of them. It's watermelons with navy chevrons at the top and hot pink chevrons inside. Um, it's got a, They've got boxed bottoms. Um, so they sit quite nicely, which I can't show you because I haven't got a flat surface, but they sit quite nicely. Um, and you've seen similar to these because I use these for all my projects. Um, and this will be a drawstring bag. I just That's the bit I haven't got to yet. I haven't quite put the drawstring in and sewed the drawstring channel. But I ran out of time. So that's one of them. Um, and the other one is pineapples. Um, and that's got orange stripes and then a, um, a bright blue chevron lining it as well um, and I thought they were quite summery for the summer stripe along watermelons and pineapples um, so they will be prizes for the cow and I'm also thinking of doing some um, hand dyed yarn um, as prizes as well so I think there'll be two two prizes it'll be one bag with a skein of yarn and again another bag with a skein of yarn um, I think I will probably be dyeing the yarn up myself um, so I hope everybody likes that idea. Um, let me just chuck those down there. <laughs> um, okay, so that's everything about the um, the cowl, I think. Um, yeah, as I said, all the details can be found in the Summer Stripe Along group and also at the top of the Chatter Thread group on the Giddy Knits podcast um, group as well. Um, if you've got any questions, then please contact us. And um, we will let you know <laughs> okay so getting into the main part of the podcast into the knitting um so this week i have got for you i have got um some finished objects i haven't got any works in progress that you've seen before i 
I don't know if you can hear that. I, Arthur seems to want to come in and say hello. Um, I have got, I haven't got any works in progress that I've got that you've seen before. Um, I do have some new cast-ons though. Um, and then I was going to talk about a little bit of future knitting, so some stripy projects that I'm thinking of casting on for the craft along. Um, and then I've also got some yarny goodness and um, I will finish off with a little bit of my behind the scenes section as well. Um, so let me just go and sort Arthur out because he's a screaming for me. Um, and then I will be right back with you. Right, I'm back and as you notice, I have a little visitor. He didn't want to stay in the lounge with his daddy. Um, he was getting quite upset about not being able to come in and see me see but it's okay isn't it now because you're going to come and help me do my podcasting you're going to help me show all the people what I finished this week yeah so I have got three finished objects to show you this week um it's been quite productive because Tom's been away so the first thing I'm going to show you you want to choose one that one here you go I finished my sock head hat um and here it is I haven't blocked this or anything. I will put it on for you in a minute, even though it's roasting hot in here. Do you want to model it, Arthur? Mm. Yeah? Can you put it on you? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I finished my sock head hat. Um, this is a pattern by Kelly McClure. Um, and I knit this using um, stranded dye works in the naive watercolour colourway. Um, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, on me, it has obviously got a lot less slouch. On Arthur, it looks a little bit like a pointed gnome hat. <laughs> but on me, it has a bit less slouch, and it's perfect for what I was after, um, so that I can get a ponytail into it. Um, and Tom do what, sir? <laughs> Tom's at the door. Um, I think Arthur's dinner might be ready. It's going to be a bit crazy this week, I apologise. Okay, so that's my first finished object. Let's give them a close-up of the yarn so that they can see what it looks like when it's all knit up, yeah? Should we see if we can get it to cut the camera to focus on it? There we go. This you one. can't see it, can you? There we go. So this is my stranded dye works in the naive watercolour way. It's ready. Oh! Your dinner might be ready. Okay, yeah, your dinner's ready. Go on then. Can you get out? That's it. <laughs> okay, I'm alone again now. He's gone to have dinner. Hopefully we'll get through the rest of this while he's eating his dinner. Um, so yeah, as I said, Sockhead Hat by Kelly McClure in the naive watercolour naive watercolour colourway um, from Stranded Dye Works. Um, and this was knit with her Oasis fingering base, um, which is a 75% merino, 25% nylon. Um, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I really do love this. I can't wait to start wearing this. Um, and in fact, this might come on holiday with us next week, which I'll talk more about later. Um, okay, so that is finished object number one. I have also finished um, Tom's cowl. <laughs> Um, so this I'm calling Tom's Bioshock Cowl um, because this is um, knit in yarn I dye. So this was knit in um, Knit Picks um, Swish Worsted base, but uh, they're bare bases, so undyed bases. Um, and I dyed this up to match the colours of um, a computer game character from the computer game series Bioshock, which Arthur really, uh, sorry, Arthur really likes, no, which Tom really likes. Um, and the pattern is the Oats Cowl um, by Tin Can Knits. Um, and I knit the adult short version and there are so many of my hairs everywhere, it's ridiculous. Um, and yeah, he's really, really happy with it. I finished it while he was away, which was quite nice. Um, so it is just a sort of scarfy, a short, Garfy cowl, which you can kind of bring up, or um, but yeah, he's really happy with it. It fits him really nicely, and he loves the colours. Um, and it's far too hot in here for, <laughs> for knitwear. Um, 
but yeah that is so this is as i said it's the oats oats cowl by um tin can knits which is a free pattern part of their simple collection um um and it's part of the same collection as the um the flax light which i've been knitting and um i've also knit the barley hat for arthur as uh, for, sorry for jasper as well um which is all part of their simple collection which has this sort of garter panel and then the rest of it's all stocking at um and i'm really happy with how this knit up um it worked quite nicely um in the way that the yarn kind of pulled um i'm really pleased with it okay so that is my second finished object um i've got one more finished object and that is my avenue socks um so these are the Avenue socks, um, which are part of the... Sorry, move a bit further forward, I've moved, having brought Arthur back. Um, which are part of the New York Sock Collection, um, which is a um, sock pattern club um, from uh, Mina Phillip, um, Knitting Expat. Um, so this is the second pattern. Um, and it is a slip stitch pattern. Let's see if I can get that done. There we go. It's a slip stitch pattern. Oh, doesn't know where to focus. There we go. Um, and you can actually alter the pattern a lot. You make the pattern your own. Um, so I chose these sort of pattern repeats and the way it works. Um, but the pattern is very versatile. Um, and I did do them the same, roughly the same, I think. <laughs> um, but it's, it's a very effective pattern and um, I, I really enjoy how her patterns get you to do the pattern on the front and not the back of the sock. It makes them work up quite quickly for pattern socks. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed these. I'm really glad I've got them finished. Um, this was the April, pardon me, this was the April pattern. Um, so I'm a little bit behind because <laughs> um, it's, a, so it's, a, it's seven patterns, the club, I've mentioned this before, but it's seven patterns, one released once a month between March and September, I believe. Um, and this is pattern number two. Um, so the yarn for this one, I've mentioned again, I've mentioned this before as I've shown you these as works in progress. Um, the yarn for this one, um, the base is Drops Fable and the top and the heel are um, Drops Fable in the turquoise colour, which was colour number, did I write this down? Nope, I didn't. Um, so I'm not quite sure what the colour number is. I'm sure it will be linked below in the show notes. Um, but then the main colour, um, let's see if I can find a decent part of it. Focus. There we go, sorry, the light's doing crazy things. Um, the main colour um, was hand dyed by me um, and it's sort of a mixture of blue, green and yellow. I don't know how well that comes across on the camera. But I'm very, very happy with these. Um, and they are pair number six or seven for my box of socks. Um, so I'm well and truly um, out of focus. <laughs> I am well and truly up to date. There we go. Um, well and truly keeping up with my box of socks, Cal, um, which is the box of socks, Cal, hosted by Yarngasm Podcast that I've mentioned before. Um, so that is my finished objects. As I said, it's been a productive week um, with three finished objects. Um, it's been really nice to finish things. Um, okay, so as I said, I don't have any works in progress that you've seen before. Um, I think I showed those two as works in progress, as, as new cast-ons or work last week, and I finished them. Um, but I do have two new cast-ons. I had a little bit of a moment after finishing things, because I didn't want to cast on too many... Too many... So, see if I can work out what I'm trying to say. Um... So all my future knitting, all my knitting plans are kind of stripey things for the for the stripe along. Um, but of course I didn't want to cast on too many stripey things too early because although I won't be eligible for prizes, I kind of want to um, I want to join in with the cowl. I want to um, knit along with everyone else. Um, so I didn't want to 
start anything too stripy but it kind of put me in a little bit of a well what am I going to do now what what am I going to cast on now um so I found I cast on two new things one of them is stripy so I put my hands up I cast on something stripy before the cow started but I'm not eligible for prizes and it's just not going to count towards the cow um and one of them isn't stripy well it's kind of actually coming up stripy but anyway shall I just show you some of <laughs> some of my new cast ons and then it'll all make sense Okay, so my first new cast on is here, and this is actually living in one of my um, project bags. So this is sort of this is the same as um, the ones that are going to be available as prizes for the for the stripe along. And um, this one has got parrots and toucans on it, um, and it's just a nice drawstring, um, flat bottomed drawstring project bag. Um, they're a great sort of sock size. I can usually get two. I can just about get two cakes of yarn and a project and a pattern in here. If you were knitting a big project with those two cakes of yarn, like a shawl, it, you would run out of space. Um, but with um, something like socks or something smaller, then it's fine. Um, and the ribbon that will be in the prize ones will be will be different. I, this is just something that I had lying around at home. Um, but I really like the way that when you drawstring them up, you get the you can see the lining. In the top. Anyway, knitting project. Um, so I have cast on another flax light. I'm afraid you're going to be seeing quite a few of these because one of my future knitting plans is a flax light as well. Um, but they're all slight, they're all slightly different. This is um, a flax light pullover, um, which again I've you've I knit one for Jasper, so you've seen the pattern before. Um, and it's just a simple, a top down, a simple top down raglan um, sweater. Um, but this has got the garter panel on the sleeves, um, similar to the oats cowl, that same sort of garter panel. It's from the same simple collection by Tin Can Knits. Um, and again, this is just a little baby version. So this is going to be six to 12 months um, size wise. Um, it's for a friend um, who has just had a baby. Um, and he will be six months come November kind of time. Um, so a little jumper will be perfect as a gift for him to wear throughout the winter. Um, so this is this is the colour, if it will come up. Um, there we go. So as I said, it is actually slightly stripy. Um, I'm knitting this out of some yarn I dyed myself. So again, it's a Drops Fable base. Um, and I'm actually, I dyed up 250 gram skeins of this and it's just kind of a, a, a variegated green. I don't know how well this colour is coming out. It looks washed out to me on the screen, but often it actually looks okay once it's um, processed. Um, but it is just a variegated green um, from sort of a very light green, limey green um, to a more foresty green. Um, and as I said, I dyed up two skeins, 250 gram skeins, and I will need more than 50 grams. Um, so I am attempting, <coughs> sorry, um, I'm also out of focus again, come back to me, um, or don't focus on me, I am attempting to alternate skeins um, with this, um, I say attempting because I have forgotten a couple of times and ended up doing more rows than I should have done. That is upside down, isn't it? And I think because I'm alternating skeins, that's why I'm getting this stripe. Um, but I'm really happy with it. I really like the way that it's knitting up. Um, now that I've got to the body, it's changed slightly. So I'm actually getting on the f on one side. Um, I don't know how well you can see this. I'm showing this really badly. Hang on. There's so many bits and pieces attached to it. Okay. There we go. Okay, so on the one side, you're getting the light stripes, and then on the other side, you're getting the um, darker stripes. Um, if you can quite see there. Um, but I think it's going to look really pretty, and I like the fact that I've actually dyed the yarn as a gift for somebody. Um, and it gives me more practice and um, yeah so I'm really really happy with this um, and as I said I'm alternating skeins every two rows um, 
and yeah I'm really happy with the way it's working out um, yeah so I'm hoping this will get finished soon um, because baby is now four weeks old um, and she's yet to receive a gift but that's fine I've told her it's on its way she's had a card um, but yeah so I've not got that much more to do I need to get another couple of inches on the body I think another couple of inches on the body and then the sleeves it's smaller than the one I knit to Jasper so it should knit up quite quickly um, so yeah as I said flax light by tin can knits um, and the yarn is the yarn I dyed myself and um, it was a drops fable in there I think it's color 100 which is just their um, white um, base which is what I've been using to practice all my dyeing on um, okay so my next work in progress just put this back in the bag is living in my cactus bag <laughs> Um, which again it's the same as the ones eligible that was eligible that's not even make sense same as the one available same as the type of bag available as a prize and here they are um, so it just gives you a bit of an idea of size because I've got quite a lot in here um, so my second new cast on is um, <laughs> not actually cast on at the moment that's quite funny um, it's a pair of socks and there is actually nothing on my needles I have finished the first sock, <laughs> um, but I haven't actually yet cast on the second sock. Um, so this is the Union Square socks, um, which is the um, third pattern of the New York sock collection, um, and it is this lovely eyelet pattern. Let me see if I can just get you to show the pattern because it needs to be stretched out a little bit and as usual I don't have any sock blockers um, there we go um, so it's this lovely eyelet pattern um, sort of a ribbed eyelet pattern it's really really nice I have done and I'm not sure which way around it is I've done that I've done one of them so it's either the left leaning or the right leaning right leaning I don't know anyway either the right leaning or the left leaning um, pattern she's got there's three ways of knitting this there's a left leaning eyelet pattern a right leaning eyelet pattern and then there's an alternating um eyelet pattern as well um i've done the left leaning for the first sock and i'm going to do the right leaning for the second sock or the other way around i'm not sure but basically i'm doing mirrored socks um but this knit up so quickly it really really did um and i loved it i really enjoyed it it was really really simple um and really really fast I think because I used self striping yarn as well that helped it knit up really quickly um, talking of the yarn um, the yarn is um, West Yorkshire Spinners um, see it's very pastel -y, so I don't know how well this will show up but it's not too bad um, West Yorkshire Spinners in their signature four ply and this is part of their cocktail collection um, and the colourway name for this one was Sherbet Fizz um, and I'm not sure I think it's got a colourway number show you the band um, so it's West Yorkshire Spinners signature four ply um, it is 75% wool 25% nylon huh and apparently 35% of that wool content is blue faced Leicester I didn't realize that until I just saw it on the screen then um, and there's the colorway numbers I'm not quite sure of that which is the colorway number which is the dye lot or anything like that but there is the details in case you're interested Sorry, my hand's shaking slightly there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really enjoyed knitting with this. When I first started, I was a bit, it was a bit pastel for me. Um, but actually, the more I knit, the more I've enjoyed it. Um, and I've added in a grey, um, a light grey heel. Um, and this is Drops Fable again. It's kind of my go-to, cheap and easy. Um, so it's just a light grey Drops Fable heel. Um, and it is colour... 114 um, which I'm sure you will see quite a lot of because it's useful to just have grey heels um, and as I said it's just drops fable Ooh, I didn't want to focus. anyway you've seen those labels before um, yeah so I've really enjoyed knitting these um, <clears throat> and I've got a half finished object already um, I will be casting the next one on very soon, possibly tonight. Um, I'm actually going to try and make these match. Um, I don't usually worry about matching, but 
the stripes are quite distinctive and I really enjoyed the way that my heel split I don't know if I can show you this it's so uncomfortable sitting on the bed <laughs> without anything to lean against such appalling posture um, okay so I really love the way that the heel split oh no it's not going to let me show you because of the there we go the light is getting a bit dodgy again um, I really enjoy the way that the heel split the purple um, and I'd love to recreate that because the heel not only split the purple there but I actually finished the foot on the purple too um, and I really like that so I, I'm hoping that if I can try and get them to start in the same place then I should be able to do that I mean I, I will be able to do that because even if I have to knit just one extra row in the leg so that the heel splits the purple I don't see that's not going to make a major difference on the length one or two extra rows in the leg isn't going to isn't going to affect it overall um, and I knit by the number of rounds for the foot so that should be the same um, but yeah so I'm going to try and get these to match so I need to wind off a little bit of this to get it to the right stage um, but I really enjoyed knitting these um, and I'm looking forward to starting the next one and these are the third pattern for the um, New York sock collection um, which was the May pattern so I've, I've finished half of one of them in May um, and the next pattern comes out on the first so Thursday um, yeah so I might actually be able to catch up this month which would be nice because I do want to try and keep up with it and knit each sock each month if that makes sense um, anyway so that is all my current knitting um, so once again I am now down to only two works in progress um, but I've, as I said I have got some future knitting plans specifically for the summer strike along and I thought I would share them with you um, okay so we just have a bit more water it is so warm in here I've shut the window because we live right by the motorway um, but it has been very warm the last few days and our flat gets really 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 hot as well um, we barely have our heating on ever <laughs> um, okay so where was I um, future knitting plans for the stripe along okay so I have got quite a few things planned um, I will start with what is living in here already because I have caked this up ready to cast on and I'm hoping on cast I'm hoping to cast this on on Thursday before um, before we go away we go away on Saturday um, and I want to take this with me um, and I, I think I've shown a picture of this before I'll, I'll, I'll stick a picture in actually um, so this is the duotone cowl which I'm hoping to cast on um, using two colors um, the first one is this blue which was um, the Peggy Mae yarn from the Peggy Mae yarns Chamber of Secrets yarn box um, and this is the um, Flying Ford Anglia um, colourway um, and it's in a DK weight um, the, the pattern is a DK weight pattern obviously otherwise I wouldn't be using DK weight yarn um, but you know what I mean okay so that's the first one and the second one is this one oh I have a visitor again I have a little guest again <laughs> He wanted to come, it's nearly bedtime and he's tired and he's in his pyjamas now um, but he wanted to come back with me um, so we might have a little visitor for a little bit of the podcast so if you hear any funny sounds that's Arthur tapping on stuff okay? now what were we talking about? I was talking about future knitting um, and the duotone cowl that I'm going to knit um, as I said this is a DK weight um, pattern and um, it's by oh I'm just looking at the pattern because I have no idea who it's by um, orange flower yarn I think is the is the people the person who wrote it anyway um, I'll put a po picture up um, of it and I will link it below in the show notes right so Arthur what colour yarn am I going to use for this um, what colour is this one B yeah so this is um, Peggy Mae yarns I need to cover your face so it will focus on the <laughs> there we go, Peggy Mae Yarns um, and this is part of the Chamber of Secrets 
um, yarn box um, and this is the Flying Forward Anglia colourway and then this one here, what colours are in this one Arthur? Pink. Yeah. And um, purple. Pink and purple and blue. Um, here we go, so this is one I dyed myself um, and um, again this is dyed on a Knit Picks, um, this is their Swish DK base um, and it is just a mixture of blues which exactly match the Peggy Mae Yarns one um, pinks and purples and I thought they'd look really nice um, <laughs> striped together um, so that's my first knitting plan now the one that Arthur is most excited about is his jumper isn't it? what jumper is mummy knitting you? I'm going to knit Arthur a flax light sweater so again this is what I said you're going to be seeing a few of these I want a purple jumper I know you wanted a purple jumper Perfect. so what colours, come and sit next to mummy, mummy's making you a stripy jumper and I am using these colours what colours are these? purple, I love purple because it's my favourite <laughs> purple, grey blue, purple and grey and yes I don't know if you caught that, he loves purple because it is his favourite um, so I'm using these three colours see if I can show these to you um, Ooh, the light is playing up there. Um, the purple is much brighter, but hopefully that will come out later on. Um, <laughs> after showing you the cowl again. Sorry. Right, come and sit back with Mummy. All right? That's it. Okay, so I'm using these three colours, um, and I'm going to make him a stripy um, flax light. Um, so the main colours are going to be the blue and navy. It's going to be the grey. I think what I'm going to do is stripe it... Um, Right, excuse Arthur in the foreground while I try and do this. Come and sit back nicely. If you want to help Mummy with the podcast, you need to stay sitting back nicely, okay? You can hold these ones for me. So I am going to stripe it grey, navy, grey, purple, grey, navy, grey, purple. That's kind of the idea. And once again, I'm completely out of focus. Um, so yeah, so you will be seeing another flax light sweater, I'm afraid, but I really enjoy knitting it. Um, and I promise that the next garment that I knit for one of the kids will be something different. Um, let's see if I can just get this to focus again. You can have a little look at the grey and we'll see if it will focus back on us again afterwards. There we go. Okay, um, so that is um, stripy knitting plan number two. Stripy knitting plan number three is also for Arthur. Do you know this? Mm -hmm. Do you remember this? What's this going to be? Dumper. No, that one's not going to be a jumper. What did you ask Mummy for a long time ago? You wanted me to knit you some stripy... Hmm? Some stripy socks, didn't you? So this is um, Knit Picks Felici in the toucan colourway. Um, and <laughs> I'm trying to get this to focus. This is quite interesting trying to podcast with a child on my lap. Um, in the toucan colourway, Arthur chose this colour. Um, and this is going to be a pair of tube socks for him. Okay, and he's about to show you my third um, stripy knitting plan. And he's doing a very good job of it, actually. See, hold it up to the camera. Well done. Upside down, I'm afraid, but that's fine. Um, so this oh, is yeah. going to be a pair of stripy socks for me. Um, so this is um, and the thread thread London House and Yarns. Um, and it is a... Uh, um, it's a it's seventy five percent superwash merino, twenty percent nylon, and five percent silver stellina. And this is their honey dukes colourway. <laughs> I'm sorry about this chaos. Um, you're gonna go and get ready for bed in a minute, aren't you? Yeah. Um, so Arthur is also showing you that wool again. And in fact, I didn't tell you what that wool was. So while he's showing it to you, I can tell you about it. And um, this is drops. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, sorry. Um, Drops Baby Merino, which is 100% wool. Um, I'm not sure it is 100% merino, but it is 100% wool with um, merino in it. It is very, very soft. Um, and it is a, um, a four ply weight, fingering weight, um, which is what I need for the flax light. <laughs> and that is the purple, which is Arthur's favourite colour. And thank you very much for showing that. Okay, right, Arthur, do you want to go and see what Daddy is up to? Yeah? You going to go and see what Daddy is up to? No, please. Um, Because it's nearly time to get ready for bed now. 
Okay, no, okay, you need to stop showing things to the camera. You need to come and sit nicely with Mummy if you want to help me. Because we're supposed to be showing this one now. And you're sat on it. You're sat on my yarn. No! What's on the picture? What's on this one? Yeah, you are happy with your jumper one, aren't you? Okay, can Mummy show this one now? Mm. Yeah? Okay. So, as I said, this is London House Yarns, which is going to be a pair of socks for me. Um, you can see Arthur's come focus there we go and it is this gorgeous sort of green and pinks and it is a self-striping yarn it's the honey dukes colorway um so this will be a pair of socks for me okay so you can be a pair of socks for me no no you can put those ones down um okay so that is all my future knitting plans for the stripe along i'm sure i will knit some more stripey things um apple but boom <laughs> Not for the knit along. Um, okay, right. Arthur, we finished talking about stripy things for the knit along, and look, it's decided not to focus on us again. I'm going to focus on. There we go. It's focused on us now, isn't it? Can you see? Um, so now we will move on to yarny goodness. But first, I'm going to see if I can convince this little man um, to go and get settled with his daddy. Um, and let me show the yarny goodness. <laughs> Is that going to happen at all? Or do you want to help me show the yarny goodness? I do. And you want to help me show the yarny goodness? Okay. So, as I said, Tom's been away. Um, he's been in New York um, for the last week and a half. He got back on Sunday. Um, I think that's probably why T Arthur isn't settling with him. Um, he's a bit funny sometimes when Tom's gone away and doesn't always doesn't always take to him straight away when he comes back. Does that make sense? Um, I think he, he has a little bit of a, gets in a bit of a mood with him and, and won't do what he says and is a bit troublesome for him. Um, which is probably why he's these, now clinging to me. My friends I'm going to show you. Those are the things that Arthur's going to show you. So these are some of what Tom got me. So while Tom was in New York, he went to, he went to Pearl Soho. Um, it's really hard to get things to focus when there's two faces. Um, he went to Pearl Soho. There we go. Um, and he bought me some lovely things. Um, he bought me some little mini skeins um, to go into my blanket. Do you want to show them, Martha? What colours did Daddy buy me? Green, orange, blue, and purple. Purple is my favourite. <laughs> we know purple is your favourite. And these are... Can I have one of them so I can show it? These are Koi Goo, Um KPM and KPPPM skeinets, and I'm not sure what any of that means, but they are hand dyed and hand pinted, 100% merino wool. Let's just show the label so that they can see what's on the see the label if the camera will focus, which it's not going to do. And that one's so minor. You can show yours in a second, Arthur. I'm just trying to get the camera. It's not going to focus on that. Um, yeah. So these will be going in my blanket. Mummy. But he got me more excitingly. Should we show some of the other things that he got me? Mm. He also got me this one, um, which is Anzula yarn. Um, there we go. Um, and this is a DK way. It's the Anzula. It's hand dyed yarn. It's Cricut DK, um, and the colourway is mauve. Um, and this is a eighty percent superwash merino, ten percent cashmere, and ten percent nylon. I I've not yet knit with an MCN, a merino cashmere nylon. And it is so, so soft. Um, and the colourway is mauve. Um, and it is just this gorgeous tonal mauve pink. Um, and I think this might become a hat. I've got a pattern for a DK weight hat. Um, it's a cabled one. I think it's Olive and, Olive and Jack it's called. I'll try and put a picture in. Um, and I think this might look really nice for that. Um, and as I said, this is Anzula, Anzula yarns, which I hadn't heard of, but now that I've looked them up, I've realised, actually, I think I might, I, I, I think I the might have heard of them bow. and just not realised it. The one's blue. <laughs> the one's purple. He's got the, the hang of this podcasting orange. thing, hasn't he? The one's skin. Yeah. Okay. Right. And the other thing that Daddy bought me. Is that. Is this. Go on, you're going to show that one carefully for me. What colour is this? Blue. Blue. So he also picked me up a skein of um, Madeline Tosh. Yes, how come pick me some blue ones? And this is um, Tosh Merino Light. So this is blue. Um, let's see if I can get that. 
there you go, Tosh Merino Light. It's 100% merino wool in the fingering weight. Um, so and the colourway is, is called blue. Well Water. And, and I don't know if you can okay. see this. Please ignore the three-year-old in the background chattering away. This is a single ply yarn. I've not ne I have not yet knit with single ply, so I am quite excited about this. I don't think Tom knew it was single ply when he bought it. He just liked the look of the colour. Um, so this will be living in my stash for quite a while until I get some more single ply that goes with it, and then I think I will be using them to make a shawl. Um, but yeah, it is this gorgeous tonal blue, and I'm really, really pleased with it. So you're going to see the mini skeins again. So. It is. Okay, so that's that one. And that boo! One. Today! And that's boo! And then... Oh, we've got some more mini skeins to show. Do you want to show some of the things that are in this box? Yes. Yeah? Yeah? No. Um, so I received also, in addition to the stuff that Tom bought me, which was lovely, um, I received a package this last week um, from a lovely friend on Instagram. Um, and she sent me some minis. She sent me this lovely card and she sent the minis packaged up in this lovely box and I've got to show you how beautifully this was packaged. Um, the paper, excuse the rustling, and then there they all are packaged in the box and she sent a lovely little mushroom progress keeper, which I've now lost down there, oops I've dropped it, um, a little mushroom progress keeper and, have this and some one. mini skeins. Um, <clears throat> Do you want to show these ones and then go to Daddy afterwards, okay? Yes, go on, you show these then. So <coughs> this one is a rainbow one. See what's really purple, purple bit my favourite. And then this is another rainbow one. This is another one. This one's white, orange and blue. Can you show it to the camera? Ooh. This one's white, orange and blue, and this one, dot, blue, orange. Show it to the camera. Okay. That's it. And then this one's another rainbow one, this one's got pink, red, and yellow, and this one's Game, that game. Right? Yeah. And this is a mini game cut console. It looks like a mushroom. Mushroom. It's really my favourite. Is it your favourite? Everything is his favourite at the moment, which is quite sweet. This is. <coughs> I'm going to get it okay. There we go. Well done, little man. Okay, right. Can you say goodbye to the people? Yeah. Yeah? So this was the Owl About yarn that I ordered, um, and there's her label, which Arthur has well and truly squished, so apologies for that. And this is on her Cuddly Owl sock base, and as I said, it's a 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, um, and it, the colourway is um, Zombies which is why I couldn't resist buying it and yeah it's this gorgeous sort of speckled purple um, with flecks of really bright blue and um, sort of scarlety reds in there as well um, and as I've mentioned before I'm a bit of a sucker for zombies um, so if you want me to buy your yarn have a zombie colourway and I will probably not be able to resist <laughs> um, okay so that is I think Oh my goodness, everything is even more chaos than usual. Um, that is my, all oh my yarny goodness. Um, so, moving on, in that case, to a quick um, behind the scenes. <laughs> so, as I said, Tom has been away for a week and a half. Um, normally, when he's away, um, I either have my mum comes and visits or I go and stay with my mum or something like that because my, my parents live in Cornwall um, <clears throat> which is about a six hour drive so it's not like they're local um, but they've been in Italy this week <laughs> so I've not even had anything so I've basically had a week and a half on my own <clears throat> with both boys 
And I just want to say, single parents out there, I have so much respect for you because it's absolute nightmare. Um, Arthur, as you may have just witnessed, is quite an energetic little boy. Um, he's three and a half now. Um, and he is, yeah, as I said, he's very energetic. He's full of energy. Um, he's going through a little bit of a challenging age, um, I would say. Um, a lot of not listening um, and yeah just just challenging <laughs> um, Jasper on the other hand is an absolute star he's good as gold and um, he's such an easy baby um, but yeah the both of them together constantly for a whole week was was a bit challenging so I've, I've yeah I've had quite a stressful week um, but it's made me quite productive in the evenings. I've done a lot of knitting. Um, my knitting has been a real, a real sort of relaxation moments in the evenings. Um, once I've got the boys to bed. Um, but yeah, so with him away, things have been a bit crazy, and I've not really um, done a lot of. We've not really done a lot of activity that I can share with you in terms of family activities and things like that. Um, the weather's been beautiful, so I have done quite a bit of, um, we've been to wet play and things like that after nursery, once Arthur's got home from nursery, um, so we've been doing that and going to the park quite a lot. Um, and we don't have a garden, unfortunately, but we've some of our friends have got gardens, so we've been round to a friend's house, and the paddling pool and things like that as well. Um, so that's been quite nice. Um, we did meet up with friends on Saturday, and we went to Box Hill, um, which is lovely, really big hill. Um, sort of to the south south of London south west maybe south southwest kind of um, outside the M25 but um, a really lovely area and um, we had a lovely walk there um, and really enjoyed that um, but yeah as I said we've not really had a lot of a lot of family time um, and things have mostly just been me getting the boys through the week but next week um, we are going on holiday um, so we're going camping for a week um, we're going to the Isle of Wight um, we went there two years ago um, and we actually camped at the same place when Arthur was about 18 months old and we had a lovely time we really enjoyed it we did five nights um, and it was fantastic um, so we thought this summer we'd go back again um, now that Arthur's a bit older and we've got Jasper um, this time though my in-laws are coming, my mother-in-law and my father-in-law are coming, and they are bringing their caravan. Um, so we'll have a little bit of respite if it starts to rain, and also hopefully a little bit of help with the boys um, as well. But yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I'm a little bit anxious as to how Arthur's going to cope with um, sleeping in a tent. Um, last time we went, he was still young enough to sleep in the travel cot. Um, but this time he's going to be in a sleeping bag on an airbed, um, kind of thing um, and we're all going to be in the same sleeping area we've got a big tent we've got a six-man tent so there's plenty of room for us all to be in the same sleeping area in sort of separate beds um, but obviously he's not slept in the same room as us and Jasper as well yet um, so it'll be interesting to see how putting them both to sleep in the same sleeping area will go I'm also anxious to see whether he gets woken up at night when Jasper wakes up to feed um, Jasper, Jasper still feeds once a night at the moment um, <clears throat> he doesn't usually wake up screaming though so hopefully he'll only disturb me and I'll just wake him up wake up and feed him and he'll go back to sleep which is what normally happens but it'll be interesting to see whether it does disturb Arthur whether it wakes Arthur up because um, eventually they're going to have to share a room together um, I mean obviously I guess as you can see at the moment Jasper's in with us his cot's in next to our bed um, but yeah eventually they will share a room um, so it'll be interesting to see. I'm fully expecting a week with a lot of early mornings and um, not a lot of sleep. <laughs> um, but we'll see how it goes. It should be fun. I'm just hoping the weather will stay nice. Um, but we had a lovely time last time. And yeah, with a bit of extra support with Tom's parents there, um, that should be quite good fun. Um, but I will tell you all about that next on my podcast. Um, okay, so I will leave it there. I am sorry if this week's episode was a little bit crazy with the boys. Well, not Jasper. Jasper, you didn't see. <laughs> Which is a bit of a shame. It would have been nice if he'd come and podcast with me for a little bit. 
Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm sorry if Arthur made it difficult for you to follow or difficult for you to understand. Hopefully you stuck with me. Um, he's going through a lot of tantrum stages at the moment since Tom's come home. Um, I think it's just over, it's just reacting to the fact that Tom's been away. Um, so I didn't really want to push for him to go back with Tom um, because I think we would have ended up with tantrums and at this time of evening that never goes down well. Um, and I know when I've never got the recording. <clears throat> but he enjoyed, he really enjoyed, as you saw, he really enjoyed joining in and showing you everything that was purple, which is his favourite. <laughs> um, and I hope you got, I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of him, um, even if it did make things a little bit crazy and a little bit disjointed. Um, anyway, as I said, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I will be back with you in two weeks' time, um, hopefully back to normal podcasting schedule. Um, and... Um, yeah, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, despite the craziness of Arthur, he doesn't usually make an appearance on the podcast for anyone that is new. Um, he's usually at nursery, um, and Jasper's usually asleep. <laughs> um, but, as I said, this week is a bit different with it being half term. Um, but yeah, so for any of you that are new, if you did enjoy it and you stuck with me throughout all the craziness, um, and you enjoyed what you, want, what you saw... Um, then please um, hit subscribe down below and um, yeah if everyone could give the video a thumbs up it just gets the video noticed a little bit more um, and um, yeah come and join us in the Ravelry group subscribe to the, the channel um, and all of that stuff um, and get casting on on Thursday for the Strummer Stripe Along um, if you want to come all over to Instagram and um, Show, show me a photograph of what you're thinking of knitting on Instagram and um, if you tag me in it then I'll, I'll see it and um, yeah remember those hashtags that I showed earlier um, yeah Summer Stripe Along 2017 is kicking off on Thursday and I'm very excited about being part of a knit along um, okay so anyway <laughs> I'm still rambling um, I will see you in two weeks time um, and have a lovely fortnight i hope the weather stays nice wherever you are um and um i will see you soon and talk to you soon okay bye <laughs>